Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for July 9th through the 15th. Now generally my readings are, are love readings, so if you're looking for a career, money, finance reading, then this reading is not for you. Um, I'd like you to keep in mind that not every reading is going to resonate with every person. You know, if it, if it feels right, it's yours. If it doesn't, then it's not. This is Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the week ahead, although the timing is fluid, whenever you watch this reading and when it resonates, that's when it's for you. The end of a difficult relationship. Something is over. Some relationship situation is over. It's done. I mean, that's what it is. There's a completion here where perhaps you need to, now you need to step back and become aware of where you're going, what you're doing. Time out. Time out. Okay. I think you know this had to end. You followed your intuition. It was definitely the right thing to do because now you have a new beginning. It feels as though whatever this relationship was, there was there was too much anger. Maybe there was abuse. Uh, somebody was being treated unfairly in this re relationship. Whether it was you or the other person, somebody wasn't being treated well. And, you know, now... It's time to deal with these power struggles, and you know what they are. You know that this had to end. You do. So I feel like you guys are absolutely releasing. You're letting go. No longer going to hold on. No longer going to uh, deal with this tension. This cycle, this phase of your life is over. It's done. It's done. You have a new opportunity being handed to you something that is wonderful um, this is something that you have manifested um, your intuition is spot on at this time just just have to throw that out there you know you know what you're doing you're seeing things clearly you're paying attention to the signs and you're receiving a reward Pisces some sort of reward for your strength your perseverance for letting go for following your intuition you're receiving some sort of reward for following your intuition other people see that you're hurt they see that whoever you were dealing with really hurt you bad they see that other people see that you have taken the time out that you've needed that you have really isolated yourself but it was for your own good other people see that they see that you've been unhappy but your challenge has been to release and i think that you have come to the conclusion that now it is time to let go and you're getting right back to into your element you are you're getting back to who you are you're 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 feeling love again love for yourself happy I mean, it feels like you guys are probably vibrating at a high level during this time because it's like your emotions are under check. Finally, finally, you've had this release and you're feeling really, really good. Back to yourself. I'm back. There is a major new chapter about to start for you because you have released something that was such a struggle. It wasn't serving you. So now you have a new opportunity that, that is wonderful. You know, it's letting go of the worry. It's closing the door. You guys have closed the door to something that has caused a lot of stress in your life. 
no longer going to fight for something. I'm not going to fight for it. It was unrealistic anyway. Giving up. I have given up the fight for this. I'm not going to fight anymore. I'm not going to worry about it. You guys have been in your head for quite some time. Staying in a situation that left you feeling unworthy, left you feeling down in the dumps. But it feels as though now you guys are stepping out. That's what I think. I think that you guys have decided there's no more chances there. I have been holding on to the past for too long. You guys had been holding on to the past for too long. And it feels as though, even though at one time you were afraid to to wake up, I think that now you are. Now you are. Now you're ready. Um, there was no love. So I feel as though right now you guys are, are letting, you're still, you are, you're letting go, or you have let go of a situation which the love has fizzled right out. There's no more love there. No more love. And now you're becoming aware where there was a lack of awareness, becoming aware of where your future is going, become aware of who you are, what you deserve. Wherever you are at, there was, there was, a, there was a loneliness, and I feel like this loneliness was unwarranted because you were dealing with somebody who, who didn't fulfill you, whatever that was. I feel as though there's a new opportunity. You regain your focus, you regain your, your concentration, and it's after, this is an ex, after you let go of this ex, after you do the right thing. You do the right thing in regards to this ex. And this has to do with letting this ex go. I think that you guys are absolutely letting an ex go in your heart and in your mind. It's gone. It's done. It's over. For good. And you may be going through a period of silence right now. As you focus on your future and you get yourself back. I'm, I'm getting myself back. That's what I see. And this, you're doing the right thing. You are doing the right thing. You may be in your head a little bit, but you're healing. Look at that. You're accepting the reality. You are. That's you. But it's it's great. It's like, I'm not going to lie to myself. I accept the reality of this situation. Something is done. It's over. I'm coming back into my own, seriously. I'm not letting any confusion hold me back in regards to the situation that I'm no longer in love with. You could be, re this is uh, taking the lead, being the boss. Like I said, you've regained your focus and concentration. Very enthusiastic about the future. I see that you guys are probably doing better than you have in a really long time. Really long time. That's what I see. I feel as though, you know, there's a, a feeling of confidence a refound confidence a refound courage strength after you you have been lonely and holding on to somebody that has been bringing you down somebody has been bringing you down for quite some time and i feel like you guys are absolutely accepting the reality i see the reality i am i'm i'm letting it go the hell is this because this is reality you're accepting the reality accepting the truth You don't want to be involved in a situation that isn't happy anymore. You've been unhappy for too long. Here is ignoring the truth. You have been, but now the truth is being accepted. And I think it's being accepted in a positive way. I don't think I don't think that you guys are sitting around crying about it or wallowing it or anything like that. I feel like you guys are are thinking very positive about the future. You've ignored it for quite some time. You've stayed stuck for quite some time. And now you are broadening your horizons. You're going down a new path. You're willing to, to try new avenues. And it looks really promising.
you guys have been stuck and, and guarded for quite some time. Not putting yourself out there. Not, not sharing your heart with anybody for quite some time. Totally guarded because of this relationship that you were hung up on. But you guys are no, no longer, no longer going to be stuck. I'm standing up for myself. I'm ready. I am ready to roll. This is the hangman reverse. I'm not going to be stuck here anymore. I'm, 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 I see this through different eyes. I've been enlightened and it's time. It's time for my new beginning. It's time for me to find love. So I feel as though you guys have a new opportunity coming in. If it's not now, it's within the next six months. This is somebody that is much better suited for you. It could be in six days. It could be uh, any time, okay? This is a new opportunity with somebody that is much better suited for you. This person is not your usual type. This person, you will be able to look in their eyes and, and know, okay? This is going to happen very unexpectedly. Um... And you're going to have to make a decision. This is a decision. Do you allow them to love you? Do you allow yourself to love them? Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice because it's probably the moment you look into this person's eyes, it's over. Okay, it's over. So I feel as though there is a new opportunity coming in for you, Pisces, because you have come to the conclusion once and for all that something is done, it's over, and there's no looking back. There's an ex that has gone bye-bye, and you know that your future is bright. Your intuition has led you in the right direction. You're listening to your intuition. You're getting yourself back. You are standing up for yourself, and you're about to start a new chapter, which is leads to victory and success with the world card. There's a new chapter starting, a new phase in your life that is going to be long-term, and it does involve a partner. And this is somebody that you don't know. This is a new, ex this, well, you may know this person, but it's not the person you think it is. Put it that way. Okay? It's not your ex. It's somebody new. Okay? So I feel as though there's a new opportunity, Pisces, for, for love that comes into your life unexpectedly. And your souls recognize each other immediately. That's what I see. Instant connection. Instant. This could be anywhere from now till the next six months. Be prepared. It's going to happen unexpectedly. And this person is not your usual type. There's a major new beginning starting for you. You aren't going to be single for long if you're single. You aren't. It's going to mess up your independence. Put it that way. It is. There's a new opportunity, there's a new offer coming in that's going to mess up your independence. This is independence, this is independence, this is the offer. This You are going to receive an offer from somebody that you cannot pass up. Let your intuition guide the way. Oh, there it is. Woo, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Wonderful. It definitely could. Now, it doesn't have to be an actual engagement. This means that your love life is ascending to a higher level of, a level of commitment. Okay? There's a new beginning about to start for you. And whatever, whatever stage you're in, you move up levels. Okay? So, whatever's happening, I think you're about to find a commitment, whether it's now or in the next six months. So this is for Pisces Moon. Rising, Sun, or Venus. Ooh. Practice compassion. See things from a different perspective. There's an opportunity here for new love, Pisces. Congratulations. 